This video is going to go over how to work with percentages in different situations in real life like paying taxes or tips or discounts when shopping. The first example, this is on page 20 of your notebook if you're in my class. The first flap that you're going to open up is the one for tips. Um, and the bottom part, it tells us the guidelines for what we're going to do. I'm going to highlight a couple things. A tip is an extra cost. Therefore, we're going to add it to the original number. Um, the steps in order to do this, the first thing we're going to do is rewrite the percent as a decimal. Then we're going to multiply that decimal with the original number in the problem. And last, we will add the tip to the original number. This one is adding. Okay, now up at the top, I'm going to take a look at the information they give me. It says an 18% tip is added onto a $25 lunch bill. How much is paid all together for the lunch? So this all together word corresponds with my last step of adding. So right now, my first step is rewrite the percent as a decimal. So I'm gonna list that out up here. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. So step one is to make a decimal. In order to make a percent into a decimal, you just move um, the decimal two times to the left from where it is. So an 18% the decimal is at the far um, right because it's a whole number. So I'm going to put a decimal here and I'm going to move it two times. So 18% actually is 0.18. Okay, then step two was multiply with the original number. So I'm going to say that I'm going to multiply next. The original number is 25 so I am going to do 25 times 18 and 8 times 5 is 40 8 times 2 is 16 plus 4 is 20 I'm going to put in a placeholder spot and then multiply 1 times 5 and 1 times 2 and then when I add those together We'll get 0, 5, and 4. Then the last thing I need to do is remember there is, um, let's see, I'm going to get another color. Uh, let's get green. Okay. Um, digits behind the decimal. This was 0.18 when I was multiplying. So that means there's two digits behind the decimal. So down here at the very bottom, if I move this up, I need to go to where the back of the number is and move a decimal point two times over. So right now, this is equal to the tip. $4.50 is equal to the tip. But my last step says, add the tip to the original number. So the last step, step three, is going to be add $25. I'm gonna make that be a decimal, 25.00, and then add the tip, which was $4.50. All together, that makes $29.50 for the total amount paid all together. The next flap that's on your notes is taxes. So we're gonna look in the bottom part first. Tax is very similar to tips. Tax, oops. Tax is an extra charge. That means it's added to the original number. And the steps are gonna be exactly the same. I'm going to rewrite the percent as a decimal first. Then I'm going to multiply by the original number. And then last, I would add the tax 
to the original number. So this one is also an add. Okay, look up here at the top at the actual example. My important information, this says that I have 6% sales tax. When I'm shopping, I bought $84 worth of a purchase and I wanna know how much is paid all together. So going back through those steps, step one was make the percent into a decimal. If I have 6%, I need to look to see if there is a decimal. If there's not, I'm gonna put one at the end and I'm gonna move it two times. Now this had a blank space, so really 6% is 0 .06 as the decimal. Step two was multiply with the original number, which is 84. So I'm gonna do 84 times point Zero, 06. Six times four is 24. Six times eight is 48. Plus two is 50. The next digit is a zero right here. If I multiply by zero, it's just going to have all zeros on the bottom, so I'm going to skip it. It's not going to change my digits. However, I do need to put my decimal in, and there's two digits behind the decimal. So I'm going to start from the back, and I'm going to work my way forward two times. This is the amount of the tax, okay? $5.04 is the amount of tax. The third and final step, if we need to know how much is paid all together, is add the tax to the original amount. The original purchase was $84, so 84.00 plus 5.04 for the tax. When you add that together, it's $89.04 is the total amount of the purchase. The last one to look at is discounts. So discounts are really awesome when you're shopping because it saves you money. So the things we want to look at on this one is a discount is a savings. Therefore, it's subtracted with the original number. So this one's different, the last step. However, I do start the same. I'm gonna rewrite the percent as a decimal. I'm still gonna multiply with the original number, but then here is the big difference. I do that every time. Here is the big difference. Because it's a discount, you are going to subtract at the end instead of add. Subtract the discount from the original number. Okay, so now let's look up here at the example they give us at the top. Our important information, it says that we're going to do a 15% off coupon for shopping. And it's used on something that was worth $70. So again, the first two steps are the same. Number one, make a decimal from your percent. 15%, you see if there's a decimal. If there's not, put one at the end and move it back twice. So that means 15% would be 0.15 as the decimal. Step two was multiply with the original number. It's 70. So 70 times 0.15, 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 7 is 35, I need a placeholder, then 1 times 0 is 0, and 7 times 1 is 7. So I'm going to add those things together, 0, 5 plus 0 is 5, and 7 plus 3 is 10. Now I need to know how many digits were behind the decimal in this whole problem. It was two. So I'm gonna start at the back. I'm gonna move the decimal forward two times. This is gonna be the amount of the discount. $10.50 is the discount that I'm going to subtract. Third step, this one, remember, 
was different on discounts. You get to subtract instead of add because you get to pay less money. The original number, remember, was $70, so 7.00. I'm going to minus $10.50. So this one you have to borrow because I can't do 0 minus 5. So we'll make that set up ready to borrow. 0 minus 0, 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 0, 6 minus 1 is 5. So now I know that this is the actual amount paid. That's the way the question asked. What's the amount paid after the discount? $59.50.